I'll twitch load it up and my twatter. Um, it's what is the workbench? In the forge. If you have the forge, um, I don't remember how many how many materials it takes, but you can, yes. We just have to make it again because you can't take it with us. Okay, so I might be playing Faz later. I don't know, but right now it's just going to be the Stanley Parable. So. What's you doing? Huh? I'm streaming, and I'm going to be playing the Stanley Parable, because I don't want to interrupt anybody. So, I know Debs is taking a nap. Oh yeah, she'll be back. Hello. How's it going, and guys? I hope everybody is having um, a great holiday. If you're in the U.S., I hope you're all staying safe. Um, if you're not in the United States, I hope you're just in general having a good day and staying safe then, too. So, you know. Windows Defender. There we go. So I'm playing something called the Stanley Parable. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. We go here. There we go. End is never the end, is never the end, is okay. If you come across the end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Oh my gosh. I'm hungry too. Okay, it's loading. Alright, one second. I'm gonna get myself a pop. God, it's like listening to my husband prattle on. 
I just got fired up. Who farted? That is a wonderful, wonderful coffee mug. Um, oh, hello. Goodbye. Ah. Excuse me. I like work. I just hate my boss. Hmm. Oh. People leaving their computers on. That wastes electricity. Goodness. Don't y'all care about... Now what is this happy horse shit over here? Well... So what? If I feel like touching everything... What? Y'all leaving so messes. Y'all leaving messes. Why the fuck you uh, leaving so many messes? But why? Coworkers for not supporting you more. Let it all ball up inside you. Take it out of passive aggressively on other coworkers. That's how marriage works too. Uh, bi quarterly post review review. That's a lot of reviews. <laughs> Everyone is unique. Is you that? most of all. Wow. Okay. To do. Synergize core value expenditure. Shift global market parade. Monetize free to play. Oh, hello. What's in here? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back. There. But there's a broom. And there's tools. Can I use the tools? No? Can I mop? Can I clean up all the coffee that's spilled? Swanky office. I want an office like this. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of yeah, any sort Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from it. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned... I don't even know the so far away. Jesus. He's almost on him. Okay. But of course, Stanley couldn't... Did you... Oh, shit. The keypad. Stanley walks around a lot for, or walks really fast for a dude that just sits on his ass pushing buttons all day. Into the dumb waiter we go! 
<laughs> Put some pants on. Oi. Tawny Radical 42, thank you very much for the follow. Looks like looks like that was tonight. I hope. <laughs> I'm gonna feel kind of silly if it wasn't. Okay. Uh boop boop boop. There we go. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Oh god, no, 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 no. Alright. Yeah, I put put my stuff up on my phone. Just so I have it. And I don't have to constantly look at other screens. I could just set my phone up right there. Okay, so Stanley is feeling peculiar. I don't know if it's a rumbly in his tumbly or a tightening of the jeans, but he is feeling peculiar. Fantastic. red doodly bobs all right yeah lots of red blinkies lots of red blinkies okay something else to remember that I learned is by random, oh my god this hurts paintings in the houses sometimes reveal a uh, like safes and other hidden things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Alright. So what do I do now? Here we go. It's very linear. I came across Well, there's four. Where's the numero tres? I'm pretty sure the gift horse would prefer it if you didn't fuck it anywhere. Oh, gift a fuck horse. What? What? 
That doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't have to make any sense. That's special. Face doesn't make any sense. Okay, I did one, two. And I found four over there. Where's three? Five is right there. Oh, where of dog? You seem less threatening right now. Look, chihuahuas don't seem threatening either, but they are evil little fuckers. Chihuahuas are the worst. Like, you look at a chihuahua the wrong way, they're like, You want to die, bitch? I shouldn't say that. Not all chihuahuas are assholes, but... I've never known a chihuahua oh. that I wanted to hang out with more than once. A lot of them are! <laughs> oh, here we go. That's three. There's five. I believe five is everything. Right, I'm gonna in here. All right, system power. Let's just. Fuck you in your mind control. Did you, did you all actually go down in there? Isn't this one of those games where it's like a lot of different? Can I hit T for torch? He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. That's right. Freedom is mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Oh, that's cool. Happy stand! Happy stand! <laughs> bark, bark! Bark. Why are you saying wolf over there? Hildo called me a fat husky. Well, I mean, husky is another term for fat. Oh. Oh. Dildo! Oh, blah, blah! The fuck? What do you mean? Why am I now back here? I thought I beat the game. I beat the game. Realistically, we got two hours before we need to head back. So, no. Okay. Uh, you can't get in until daybreak, so let's, let's look at another house. This was not the correct way to meet him, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop on. by the employee house first. Just I'll take that, bitch. You left your computer on, you fuck. Okay. Um. 
Wait, why is that my only choice? Seriously, so fuck your mating room. Giant warehouse and just found this massive ladder. And guys, come on. Even computers left on in video games still use electricity. I'd love to, except I can't. Okay. Well, I can't go through that door. I can go through this door. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you vomiting? What? What? I don't know. I have a British guy yapping in my ear for wow. like endless amounts of time. So How yeah. Is that any different from a normal? You're not British. <laughs> I'm too frustrated with it. Yeah, no, but, yeah, Debs, this game just restarts over, if I remember correctly, I did watch a playthrough of it, like, a long time ago. If I remember correctly, it just keeps yeah, starting over. And there's, like, there's no real one true way to play it. one point you can yeet yourself down the stairs. Don't kill the dog. How rude! Don't kill the dog. You know what? Fuck you. Blue pick. 
walk right by me kill the dog. There's no retracing steps in here, sir. It's all madness now. Adventure um, line, it's an adventure line. Because apparently I mean, we. Another run. So just take primarily no. what you need to start building. And. Yeah, start with that. No, no, I'm done. We're living it up to the line from now on. We've got lots of. <laughs> This is not the way to go. Stop leaving your computers on, assholes. I can't. I can't. Uh, it's not letting me go over there and turn it off. How rude. Because we corrupt data every time. Walk on the wall. Is this office in fact the skeleton of my own primitive experiential mental subjective construct? We'll grab this stuff as I see it. I'm getting a little weirded out, guys. Fuck your fur. Yeah. Fern, you're a bitch. Fuck your fern. You hussy. You hussy of a plant. I'm loading myself. Light your trunk. <laughs> you can hear blue louder than the game. Oh no. Okay. 
options. Audio. That battery is pretty valuable. Sound quality high. Nails, if I recall, nails are very hard to come by. May not seem okay. like it now. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. There we go. All right. Um. I got this imagine. All right, you'll have to let me know if this is better. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up? Is that any better, story? Dabs? Something exciting. Daring, mysterious. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was a okay. This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply do start wandering in, well, I don't know. Okay. How about this direction? Oh, not this computer. So what that's on. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Um, Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. There were a few too many turns for that. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Except for the, uh... Um, line... Line, I think you have a problem. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. That wasn't logical at all. The confusion ending. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? Get bored and leave. Are we supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all... After a Did long time, you? Stanley dies. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing. Wall. What? Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Mm -hmm. Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? Yeah. No, it can't be. I, I might do. I don't want it to be. I I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer ah! stopped. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do happen to have a... That was a fun noise. Game screen is small now. It is. Why is game screen small? Man. Hmm. Why was 
that? Oh, man. That's what I don't like. About ah! That's what I don't like about... Uh oh, shit. Windowed games. Uh, options... Video. Okay. Okay. The only thing we need to come back for, if we came back here, is the iron that's in the forge. Or I can wait seven minutes for it to all pop out. Then we don't have to come back at all. Well, ball sacks and bananas. No, just let me, let me do the thing. God damn. Okay, this is a, this is, I have a feeling this is about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> I don't know why it's small. I can't fix it because of the way that Stanley things decided to kind go of to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wow. Sometimes it's just small and you can't fix it. Wow. I'm talking about my display. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley says, wow. fuck your employee yes. lounge. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is not the upstairs. Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. 
Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Yeah. Now the really voice was describing itself Perfect being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all nice. very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How I am be? starting was to Stanley feel a little sick. Himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. <laughs> After all, he knew for certain, ah. without a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Yeah, Let me wake up, quick. he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. There I wish go. it to be over. Let me go Not back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. Okay. I want my apartment and my wife well, and my job. And all I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Yes, everything will be everything fine. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Red tea is Oh, yeah. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am Boys. real. I must be real, I must Everything be real. Everything turning red. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Ah. Ah. This is the story ah. of a woman named Mariella. Ah. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she lucky. was to be normal. I, I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Well, Marielle, you're just a little cunt, aren't you? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Huh? Input. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. So if I follow this story, I wonder... This is actually a very good place to be here because of all the... Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office 
hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Reading sounds really good. Okay, so that does nothing. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf. Look at Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That no. kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind <coughs> control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Big ass gap Had right Stanley here. Really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he Can't was I happy just... with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated Eat to the meat? accept it blindly? Eat the meat? No? Okay. No, eat no. the meat. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's um, control? Never. I mean, I'm going to be online for a bit. 
Wasn't it? If you wanted to was it even change possible? to another game, I'd be Had happy to. He spent his entire life utterly blind to the world. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began so to be honest, in, this game is giving Stanley me a little bit of vertigo. This machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. We watch episodes of the Boy. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably be here for an, for at least an hour. Outside, so Enjoy, Dabs. Turkey was freaking delicious, but now I'm hungry so again. So I'm probably going to actually take a quick snack break and make myself some chicken nuggets here in a minute. There's actually a place across the street to go check it out. Cause chicken nugget, chicken, chicken nugget, nugget. Get more turkey. I'm leaving the turkey for you for tomorrow. At last, he found the source of the. Okay, is this gonna be the same silly ending? Flatness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes, he had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his, and that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley Don't was die. happy. Hooray, Stanley was happy, but not the fuck, dude. I thought I was supposed to find a bookstore somewhere. Be happier in a fucking bookstore, reading books. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, this electronic store is paying dividends. Yep. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his <laughs> boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. 
he considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it be over. Excuse me. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Do you have any food? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> and everything went black. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. She's a bitch. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She oh, rose, on, got dressed, funny. gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular Dinosaur. day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. And 
then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. I'm waiting for this man to finish prattling. <laughs> they should have a skip option. I think this is a psychological experiment. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on it. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personal but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Basically, look for any way that you got up there. Yet there was not a single person here either. Possible. Feeling a They're wave not, of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. So, because they can't jump. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. But the thing is, we still have to survive a whole other day before the night makes it. Hooray! Now oh, we're getting nowhere. Fast. Wee. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? 
Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused <coughs> to believe it. Oh, he goodness. couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he okay. would dismantle yeah, the controls be, once and for all. Uh, well, the reason you can't build down is probably because that bent, bent into the frame, so it's treating it with two things. Um, yeah, with the reinforced Do I need to keep hitting these buttons? Because I see the Obviously door is already they'll open. They'll come out of here and they'll jump. So we want to do the same thing on these two red ones so they don't have that. Because then they're not going to go both. They're not going to be smart enough to do that. Yup. Yup. Because now they can't jump on them. What happens if I hit on? Even if they could, they wouldn't be smart enough. And when at last he found the source of the room's power... Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Um, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. About me, where we're going, and there's also this what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them, I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. 
running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stan. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Why are you waving at me? I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment I we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. What happened? Interesting. Climb up the chair in front of the first Pretty monitor. Sure. Oh, they definitely. Well, we're not gonna. It, I mean, okay. I would want to just be up here. We can also build ourselves. All of his co workers were. Here. Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Do you guys need water or anything? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door, just go. Well, why do you keep cycling me through the, uh, through the loop? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, like, this will protect us from the birds. We'll put, like, a couple more. Yeah, no. no, I don't think it needs to be upgraded anymore, but I would put, like, Let's see how it goes. I'd have some in reserve, but I think it's going like this. And that's only if the birds really become too much of a problem. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control so Facility. Did we want to make red holes? Yes, but we don't actually need to go back there anymore because I've pretty much got everything. I thought you were supposed to be able to jump off. The 
Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I guess they. I guess that was a bug they fixed. So. Okay. <clears throat> there are two. Did you already block off the whole way to get here to get back up? Okay. Well, bring your bedrolls and follow me before you get all invested in that. I don't want to jump off here. So I already there's already a couple other. I want to put it up there on the 99 cent side. So if we die. Mildly, but I can make bandages. I got lots of cloth. I don't know if you manage to figure out what the buttons are and what they do. They have no entities tied to them. I would still have to count down. Yeah, you need like one and then one more. Yep. What is this? Oh, it's my spell spear. Okay, sorry, I'm. Oh, there's backpacks and shit like tucked in the bottom there. Oh. Nineteen. Well, what is new player resources? Okay. Left door endings. Okay. Countdown. Museum. Oh. Oh. I messed that one up then. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true no, the nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Probably. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. So I didn't even walking, need to do those eating, numbered working, buttons. They all don't of even it do monitored anything. and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley yeah, decided that this machinery yeah, would yeah. never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Okay. and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I don't know where you're at. Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. 
Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let not go. Tonight. No longer would okay. anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life I... he lives, it will be his. The guy that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Or I could if I had dressed up. Anyway. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. So there are 19 endings to this game. Holy balls. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hope coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door, just go. Let's stop being a <laughs> Follow the escape sign. Instead of going in the mind control facility. Okay, there's no escape sign, so. So are we playing on the I think we can make it work. Oh my God, man. We just have to start at the bottom and make sure everything. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind yeah, Control Facility. Time, so yeah. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent no. death. Um. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep. that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous now metal jaws. Said, in a single visceral instant, spawn, Stanley was obliterated the as the machine size, crushed every bone in his body, or, killing him instantly. They'll either spawn on other, or if Dildo's not with us yet, they may spawn on him. <laughs> and yet it would be just a few minutes and before Stanley would restart the game back him. in his office, as alive as ever. Until he dies, what exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Full tilt. When right. every path you can it's, walk uh, has been created for you long in advance, death before. becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that and Stanley was already dead spot, from so the moment he hit start? Know. They usually go for the most densely populated area, to be fair. Well, 
we can also we can also build zombie traps where we can lure them in, they'll fall on the spikes and they'll die. This is all stuff from the development of the Stanley Parable. Interesting. Well, we are going to hang out here for a while. Okay. We might as well go ahead and get that forge rebuilt and we can start making some, some decent stuff. So, tell you guys what, However, we're going to take a quick clean. snack break because all I literally all I had today was was dinner so getting a little hungry uh, we'll be right back and we will not, not really actually we just go under the garage I'll do another attempt at the Stanley parable but if it keeps freezing up like that then we'll do something else be right back on the musical stylings of non-copyright.
Here we go. I had my microphone muted. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Okay. Yeah, I had music going, and then I don't know if it just decided to cut the music because it was not copyrighted. I specifically did non copyright music. But. And yeah, I don't have my camera on because I'm actually eating at the moment. Very hungry. So yeah. Welcome back. Oh, I already did two of my dailies. Survive with starter items and find a bow. There we go. All right. Let's see if I can like get. There out there in need of help. A good job. Roadhouse. Nope. Okay. We really need like a refresh like button. Like for bed, for Looks like there are others out there in need of help. Just saying refresh button would be awesome for when shit like this happens fuck the asylum man no especially not by myself i can't make it through the asylum <laughs> Looks like there are others out there on my own <laughs> i can't like just just going by myself i need a map for gps or some shit so it's. Right, so Fuck a dog, man. I've gathered a list of other hunters asking for help. What did you need for the work? Tanglewood. Professional. Select. Okay. Um, if anyone wants to join in, it's 372 115. Yeah, you can. You can just throw together. Nope. Uh, Zombies don't have the brain capacity to be peaceful. Nice. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go in. It's only Tanglewood. Let's pray I don't die. Ha <laughs> ha, that'd be awesome. Every time I supply, I die. Wait, why am I adding like full everything? What the fuck is wrong with me? I don't know, we have photo cameras. Both crucifixes. I need one spirit box. Salt smudge sticks, tripods. Actually, I don't need the sound sensors. There we go. 
both ghost writing books. I don't need the. I never use the parabolic microphones. Okay. Go. All right, let's get this show on the road. Do. I'm reinforcing downstairs. I'll listen out for whatever I want to listen out for. Thank you very much. Crucifix and Smudgeru. We left in a hurry, oh no. Reports of violence, oh no. We'd have a copy. He should just give us that shit. Five. Is it in here or is it just in the front hall? I think it just might be in the front hallway. Ooh, blah, blah. 12.9. Yeah, it's just. Oh, no. Sweet. It's in this front hallway. Yeah. All right. Nice. Oh, cool. Nice and easy. Hanging out by the front door. Pussy, come on in.
All right. This will be the easiest set of Hmm. What is my sanity at? 95%. Hooray. We have ghost orbs. Well, I have ghost orbs. Because I'm all by myself. Don't want to be all by myself. Get your fingers out of your face! Did I get smudge sticks? I got smudge sticks! Alright. Eat. Alright. Where are you? Nothing detected. How old are you? Okay, we have spirit box. Okay, so what do we have? What is a poltergeist, a gin, or a mare? Wait. Bone? Hmm. Bones in. Oh, it must be like way back there. Okay. Um. Poltergeist, gin. Ooh! That was fun. I whistled through my teeth. Do 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 do. Okay. So spirit box, ghost orbs, and freezing taps. Ah, oh, EMF five. And for poltergeist, thingy prints. Of course, I'm a little pansy and don't want to go in by myself. Hmm, hmm. 
I may not do anything because I'm not going in there. Hmm. thing in there. I already eat it in there. I think I might have accidentally. Hmm. I think I did a dumb. I think I did a dumb. I could have sworn I had it. Oh, there it is. for shits and giggles. Throwing a lot of shit around. Let's go through again. I wait for someone to come and join me. <laughs> it was a gin! Oh blah blah. I'm sure he looks sexy in it. Hmm. Oh, maybe. Just a moment. So if anyone watching would like to come join me, all three viewers I have, one of them probably being me, I'm on European servers, I have that code. I have no idea who the third person is though, because I know Debs went to chill with her dude. For a bit. Oh, excuse me. Okay. You went to check it. I already pretty much 
We should be able to just do it with one box of stairs, right? Yeah. Come on, Dildo. I gotta show you how, to, how we get it upstairs. Dildo! Candle run! Or Cap, it's offering you. Don't worry, Daddy. He'll be coming to bed soon. Wanted to play a couple games. Huh? <laughs> Hello, Chunkers. Oh, my baby. This is my baby. Doing baby things. <laughs> His little hair. Your hair is all over the place, my good sir. Hello, he's pet, pet, pet. A pet, pet, pet. <laughs> What's that? What is that? Oh, my cuddle bug. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna tell Auntie Deb she's missing Bibi. Yeah. I was able to use it. Oh, 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 my son. Yes, my so son. The last one. Go ahead and. How good are we going? Are you sleeping or do you have a sore throat? Did your widow fall over? I hope not. I hope not. Oh yes. Oh yes, who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? Oh, it's a wiggle butt. Oh, it's a wiggle butt. Oh, it's a wiggles. All the wiggles. All the wiggles. All the wiggles. Oh, clips. Oof. Oh. You're okay. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, what are you? It's a baby doing baby things. It's a baby doing baby things. My little man. My little man. Chuka 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 Dummy, dummy, do you gonna help me how to go with this? Go help me how to go with this. Dummy, 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 do. Dummy, 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 do. Oh, Bobo. Oh, my Bobo. A sweet baby. What am I gonna do with you, little man? Hmm? Milk. Why did I walk on that? Blue What? Candle run? Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Stream. Tommy's got a hole in his face. So you leave you. That's what I'm thinking. Even if they make it, we can spell it again. Even though it's Poke Poke. Well, Dildo's always good for a Poke Poke. Five hundred days? Five hundred days, yeah. Noise. Something like that. The server was continuously running though, so this should feel a little bit more like a real gameplay. Or a real run through. <laughs> So you can you can if you want. I was actually I was actually if <laughs> if I can't get anyone to play because Blue Pick won't play with me. I was just gonna find something else or just head on off. One higher would make sense, just so we're not. Just got a little one. So it's up to you. Pet, 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 pet. 
You always know he's happy to see you when he does a little. Pie. Oh, oh no! Oh, he's got hiccups. Oh, and a green binky, so he's got a little hole in the head. Okay. Hello. Oh, 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 my little love. It's okay. Oh, Papa's got hiccups. Papa's got the hiccups. He's got the hiccups. Oh no! Oh no! Gravity is a thing in this game. Diamonds. <laughs> yeah, he hiccups like a normal person. Yes, he does. My, my weird hiccups didn't actually start until I was like 14. Dabs! See, Debs loves me. Oh, she's there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I got another head camera. And thermo. And a strong cross right. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? I jumped and I'm still in my house. Oh, boy. What do you mean? Oh! Ah, I got your binky! Yeah, so I'm happy to be my son. Oh, I'm already in voice chat. I thought it was. Yeah, let me bring up my discard. Yeah, I'm in the Phasmo deck. I didn't know you were already in here. I am. Tommy. <laughs> oh, what are these noises you're making, sir? <laughs> is Dildo going to play? Is he going to ditch seven days to die? Or is he playing with Blue? He's playing with Blue. Got the men, boyfriend. The men don't love us. Start. There we go. You, you gonna help? Tommy's gonna get all the ghosties. Yeah. You, you gonna find all the. Uh oh, you'll be Oh dear. This poor little man is so snotty. He's been. He was born with full sinuses. Yes. But he's cute as fuck. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which, of course, he got that from me. So. Of course. <laughs> oh, no! Tell me! Tell me! <laughs> Well, even our missions. Ghost event, picture the ghost in a motion sensor. Okay, I'll take the motion sensor. And the spirit box for now. Oh, no, I've got a torch. Boop, boop, boop. <gasps> Are you helping? He's playing on the keyboard. I may have to detach and reattach my keyboard several times. Oh, no! The little man. Yeah, you <laughs> You get thing. them, kiddo. You get them, ghosties. <laughs> oh. I didn't do that. Oh, no. Okay. Tommy. 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 I did not want to eat that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, you're such a little goose. <laughs> ah! Fourteen. Excuse me. I so loud. I know. <laughs> I 
We found the barn yet? Ah, oh, um. the barn's here in the bathroom. Oh! Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> He's helping! <laughs> He's helping! <laughs> oh, my little lamb. My little lamb. Uh, oh, thank you, Tommy. Oh, he's rattling my brain. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I'm so cute, though. He is. Huh. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> He seems to be pushing buttons. He wants to push the buttons too. I think it's in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm looking for the Ouija board, but we don't have one. Oh. Yeah, I'm consistently getting around 10 in the kitchen. Timmy. Tummy, 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 toes. Your tummy. Kitchen or dining room? Kitchen. Oof, oof, baby. That's too loud. Nope. And you done did it. Yeah, it's not working right now. Okay. Yeah. See, it's not working right. <laughs> Tommy, I don't know what you do to switch the keys around. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna, you know, die. <laughs> Tell me. There. Yeah. Tommy. I love you. My sweet little man. But holy shit. Yes, we want to see the any RBs and check the uh, angles on them cameras. Ooh. Bobby. I'm not seeing any. Good angles though. Got full coverage of the whole kitchen. Yay! Uh, let's do it EMF. Oh. oh, do you want to bring spirit box? Just to talk to everyone? Um, oh, we've witnessed a ghost event. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Elizabeth ah. Brown and she responds to everyone. Sweet. Yeah, okay, what's it? Oh, I don't have a spare hand to bring another motion sensor. Might just have to move that other one. Sir. <laughs> Tommy. I love you. Oh, we got ghost right in. Sweet. Tommy. Where are you? Oh, shit. Where are you? Oh, how old are you? Nothing detected. Okay. Oh, All right, EMF is on the counter there. I'll go and grab a camera to put in front of that EMF just to, without a tripod camera. You feeling okay? What, me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just a little chinos. Oh, okay. Alright, little man. I love it. I just gotta stop doing this shit to my keyboard. Yeah, my dream this morning was so weird. My, my meds make me have like really trippy dreams. It's funny. Come here, EMF. Oh, no. You. Yeet. There we go. Don't worry, you was that won't... you? Oh, I just heard a stomp. I don't know if it was you. Nope. Oh dear. 
Don't worry, you'll get go. baby snooks. Uh -oh. oh, it's hunting. Hide. I'm trying. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Couldn't get the door shut. Oh, it's right outside the door. Stompy, stompy. Tell me. How fucking long is this hunt? I don't know, man. Excuse you. Stop. Excuse me. I wanted. I needed that. Thank you. Oh, it's done. Oh, wow. Give me. Oh, baby boy. Oh, baby boy. Oh, I came out for the other motion sensor. Tommy, did you do the thing again? You did the thing again. How did you do that? They already started. Let's wait and see if there's a motion sensor goes off. <laughs> Oh, it's, oh, it's hunting. <laughs> Motion sensor's just gonna... We We've got EMF 4. So far all we have is go straight in. Do you have a picture box? Um Yes. Okay. We just need a picture of the ghost and to get some goddamn evidence because we've got nothing apart from go straight in. Oh Tommaso. Oh Tommaso. Oh Done. Yay! We have to check for fingerprints. <laughs> huh. Hey, fingerprints, take a picture. Yay! Oh, fuck! Right here, mate. See if I can get a picture of it or a die. Go hide. You supplied. Sir. It's very vocal. Oh, it's the grudge lady. Killed me. Oh no. I don't know if my picture counted. I got a picture, but I don't know if I counted as go. Oh, I did. There we go. Oh my god. It was crawling, grudge lady. Creepy bitch. Oh, you are in the door. A beautiful death. <laughs> I mean, I sacrificed myself for, for a good reason. So we got some fingerprints. So it's a spirit or a revenant. I've lost my cheat sheet. Oh, there it is. Uh, EMF, no. Yeah, EMF or Spirit Box. I'm going to guess it's going to be EMF because yeah. we've had EMF 4. And uh, Spirit Box was nothing detected. Sir. Hi. Are you getting another two Is that the problem? Are we getting more two are we getting my door I know, boo boo. 
All right. Are you leaving? I haven't got it in the book. Oh. Oh. Here. Okay. Sir. Where? Sir. 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 Brought you something? Are you ready? Sure. For it to appear. Yes. Yeah, I'm tired and it's a bun bun! Tommy toast do 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 Tommy toast do 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 Tommy toast do 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 Oh no! Tommy toast! Cranky butt do 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 Cranky butt do As if you can see the camera now. Yeah, we used to be able to. I say that, there's part of that room that I can't see that's really weird. It's like walled off over by the sink. Oh. Like the whole corner of the room. Weird. Anyway, we've got all the missions. Yes. I can't press I can't that's press right. the button. <laughs> I wonder if this still works though. Can I still be tall? Let's see. I, <gasps> I can! I'm a tall ghost! <laughs> Sir. Now your truck's haunted. <laughs> oh boy. Sir. I got a whole thirty-seven dollars. Was it actually a revenant? I didn't yes. Even look. It was a revenant. Um, we've got mission to survive with um starter items. Hold on. Can't remember the others. Oh, it's the only one that we've got left. Find a bone and picture of the ghost. So we just need to try and find Tanglewood. Oh, there we go. Let's go. You are a oh. freaky pants. Right, I'll take EMF and go straight in. You can, you can have the torch if you want. Oh, you've got fingerprint one. Oh shit. There we go. Mm -hmm. I didn't even look if it responds to everyone or... You are... Oh! Got three EMF in the bathroom. Well then, it's a likely culprit. I'm just looking. Looking right, for the you. bone. Monster, everyone. Where are you? How old are you? I'm gonna guess it's in there. I'll <laughs> eat that back in there. Alright, you go. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Oh, it's probably somewhere on the floor. You knocked it down. Okay. I know, I see it. Okay. It's okay. Okay, there's a handsome baby boy. Alright, so it was not... Oh, shit. Forgot to put the book down. Tommy! Oh. 
I need to go and see this angle on the camera. <gasps> What's going on? It was very precarious. <laughs> oh, why is it so bright? Oh, can you turn that whole light off? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. oh no. This is a cranky little pants. Isn't that right? We're just a cranky little pants. Oh, sleepy. I'm not seeing any orbs. I couldn't find the bunny. Oh, it might be in the basement. I didn't check the basement. Oh, I thought you did find the bunny. Was that last time? That was the last time. That was in the bathroom. Oh, we've got to go straight in. Don't take a picture. It is actually very possible to uh, kill them all before the night's over. Pardon me, miss. <laughs> it would appear your bum is right there. I need to move this camera. Yeah, okay. I keep hearing it mess with the door. I'm gonna look at with the thingy. I'll shut that. Yeah. No. I'm not seeing anything. That's an amateur as well. We've got 44 seconds before it. Why is it so bright? Oh, the hall lights in again. a better view. Oh, bloop bloops. Yay. So it's a shade or a Yuri. So it is either EMF or freezing temps. Music, okay. Oh, morning, I'm going to say EMF. It's a shade. Well, you said we also haven't found the bone yet, right? Correct, but the mission's only a survivor start of items in this amateur, so it's pointless risking death for pennies. Okay. Any book? Yes. Yeah. Don't even think it matters if you get the right one. Just as ah. long as you survive. EMF worked. <laughs> Got one mission. What do you see, little man? That was a Yuri. Welcome back. We had freezing temperatures, apparently. Right, did we get it? Yeah! Yay! The is it done. Small house again, yeah! I mean, it's intermediate, but... I think you can leave and come back if you want, see if we can get a pro. Although I'm fine with intermediate. Okie dokie, if you're fine with intermediate, then let's do it. It's just for fun at this point. I've got like thirty-seven thousand nine hundred and fifty-four dollars. Oh wow! It will be at some point. I just keep stocking up on items. Yeah, I'm gonna at some point. I've got ten of everything right now. Oh, I've got at least twenty. Oh, little man. Little man. Insta spawn, yeah. yeah. Salty bitch, picture of the ghost, below ten. David Robinson alone. Okay.
I'll run around to the thermal and a picture box. I managed to get a copy of the key. I've left it on the desk for you. That will never not be funny to me. So I managed to get a copy of the key. Like, if there are we breaking and entering? Are we committing a felony? Yes. Ooh, we really uh, it normally says the owner's left us a copy of the key. Oh. Are you also thermoing? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll continue this way. Um, I think it's in this master bedroom. Okay, Possibly. I look for... Maybe not. Looking for Bonio. A Ouija board. Oh, there's a random bunny in here. Just chilling on the floor of the utility. No bone or wage either. Yeah, I think you might be right. Yeah, yeah ten. Really Ten boring. degrees in the master bedroom. Hi, Tom. I leave so you can talk, and I'll go and get some more stuff. Thank you. Oh. Where I'm are out. you? Here. Oh, we got spirit box. Nice. Sir, sir. Oh. <laughs> it's past your bedtime, young man. Yeah, he was asleep and then he woke up very upset. Oh, sweet boy. Wonder by the hell the bone is then, because I haven't seen it. Oh, did you see? Did you? It's not in the basement? Uh-uh. Oh, I'm not seeing any blue bloops. Where is it? I'm gonna drop some stuff at the door because I've only got one free hand with carrying a picture box and a torch. And then I can come and get it from there. Did you place the salt? Yes. Okay. And then I heard it grudge noising and it didn't... I couldn't see it. Hi, boo boo. <coughs> Salt's done. Sweet. Is there a thermal in the room still? Um... Yeah. Because that one of the missions and it hasn't triggered. Alright, hang on. I have to exit to reposition the Wii one.
I know this one's short and sweet, but this is gonna have to be my last one. He is it's okay. Miserable. The camera and the doors for watching when it's hunting. Okay. Oh boy. Come on. We've got ghost right in. Yes. Are you in? Oh, we have. Yes. Nice. So it's a spirit or a demon or an orny. Demon is freezing temperatures, which we're not getting close. Spirit is fingerprints, and orny is Emma. I have not seen any finger fingerprints. We haven't even got below ten with a the thermometer, so it's definitely not a demon. Alright, thermo should be done. Yeah. Did you take a picture of the Go straight in. Yes. Okay. You are enthralled, little man. I climbed to the top of the mountain to see a whole bunch of stuff up here. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Wait, we don't have much time left. We don't have any time left. Okay. Oh, bull bull. Alright. We just need some evidence. EMF. What else did I say? EMF or fingerprints or freezing oh, yeah. maps. Still nothing on the EMF. I think it might be fingerprints, it just hasn't touched anything yet. Oh no, it's touched the front. It's touched that door there. Because oh. it's closed me in and uh it's closed me in and, and grudge noised me. Hmm. So there's no freezing temperatures at EMF that one. <sighs> and you need to go, so let's just take a guess. Fuck it up. Hello, my little man. Are you gonna help? Are you helping all the ghosties? Alright. I'm thinking of Oni. Oni. Okay. Let's roll! <laughs> Thank you for popping in to play with me. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You should be mad. Oh, bye, little grumpy man. Say bye bye. Bye bye. I'll come steal snuggles soon. <laughs> Once it's safe and people stop being so psychotic, we'd be more than happy to have oh. you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've seen him ripping your hair out. That yeah, he, fun. he does that a lot. It's 
Only one oh, of my look babies. Look how cute he is. I know. See, that's how we keep from eating them. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, gracious. 